Okay, hi, I'm Jim from Geeks on Tour, and the most popular question that we get by far and away is, how do you connect to the internet when you're on the road? Well, there are a lot of different ways. You can get, use the Wi-Fi that's at an RV park, or you could probably use the Wi-Fi that a friend or neighbor creates. You can go to libraries and all that kind of stuff. We find that cellular is the most popular way to get connected. You could have a MiFi device, which is a personal hotspot. But we have these Verizon phones. These are Motorola droids. And we have an AT&T cellular connection on our iPad. We can make all of these devices into a Wi-Fi hotspot that we can then share on our computers or any of the other devices that we want. In order to do that with the droid, we use a a program called FoxFi and it works really well. It creates a Wi-Fi hotspot using the unlimited plan that we have on our on our phones. Sometimes Verizon is not available in areas where we are or AT&T might be better. So then we use the iPad and we make it into a Wi-Fi hotspot and you do that by going to settings and Somewhere in here is personal hotspot, and I turn that on. And then when I connect, I just go to my computer or my Android device, which is Wi-Fi only, and I connect to the Chris's iPad from the Wi-Fi settings on the device or my wireless settings over here. You need a 5 gigabyte plan in order to get this thing working with AT&T on this device. If your phone does not support FoxFi, you can still get the Wi-Fi hotspot. You just have to pay a little bit extra. And it usually is about $20 a month extra. And then you might have to have a larger plan. With the iPad, we needed a 5 gigabyte plan. So, as you travel, you can still get on the internet, you can still do some important work, get those th files uploaded, get the pictures, get your blog posts up there. All that stuff can be done. I'm Jim from Geeks on Tour.